Together, we have transformed American consciousness as to what kind of nation we can become. Sad City Productions presents Bernie Sanders Free College Agenda. Subscribe, like, and share. Welcome back. It's another episode of the Holiday Roundtable, where we use our platform for progress and where every day above ground is a holiday. This week, we're talking about the prospect of debt forgiveness, whether or not we vote for somebody who's going to give us free college, they're going to forgive all of our student loan debt. To my left, we got Juliana Gomez, fitness <laughs> extraordinaire. To my right, we got Ariana Cobus Pig, digital marketing specialist, expert. And we also got Cam, all types of, man, jack of all trades, really. All right, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I just want to talk about the prospect of, of debt forgiveness. Uh, what would you do with the money if you had all of your student loan? debt erased what would i do with the money i mean i would at, at this age i'd probably save it and then you know use it for important things that we need in life like a house uh, okay you know yeah there's a lot of people not buying houses these days exactly i don't know if i ever have a house <laughs> like the prospect of having a house is like crazy to me uh, what would you do with the money yeah no i agree with what she said i would be great to be able to afford a house just because in this day and age it's so expensive and then with debt and everything on top of it but honestly I'd use a lot to travel too mm -hmm. okay. um, just because yeah. you know there's so many trips and things that I'd love to take but I always have to kind of think responsibly about whatever financial things I need to take care of here but um, I, I think it would be great to kind of just see the world and yeah. use the money for things like that instead of paying back uh, Sally Mae. <laughs> right. oh, I hate her. Me too. <laughs> I'm never naming my kids Sally. <laughs> no. <And> Sally. Sally. <laughs> Sally. Especially not Sally. Man. I forgot about you. Country ass bumpkin. Yeah. Um, it's the country name. Cam, what would you do with the money? Um, actually, like Ari's traveling. Um, that would be cool. But I think uh, probably reinvest into whatever. Uh, I know it's a different episode. But whatever your side hustle is, I probably do some of that and um, save save a little bit. But travel too. You have to like enjoy life a little bit, right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So, like, a really cool thing that's going on right now in the Democratic race, right? Bernie Sanders is saying that if he wins, he's making college free and he's bailing out all the student loan debt. $1.6 trillion in loan debt. Like, and this is the kind of debt that doesn't go away uh, 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 when you die. Um, do you feel like that's a platform that's strong enough to make you vote for him? Or, or what do you think? It sounds great. I mm -hmm. mean, that sounds great. I mean, I know there's a lot of like moving parts to that, like mm -hmm. getting just completely wiping out student loan debt and giving people free college. But, um, but I think that uh, yeah, I think free college is great for people and, and just having an education just changes your life. I you think need an so. Education. 100%. Yeah, yeah, it changes your life in so many ways. So, um, and, you know, for people who are are not as fortunate, you know, to be able to afford college or have to work or take care of their family, it, it would benefit them also. Life changing. Um, yeah. Life changing. Mm -hmm. I mean, shoot. Bernie Sanders, I mean, I like him and I like the platform. It's very, very interesting. I'm undecided at this point, um, mm -hmm. but I think that, man, free college. What, what, what do you think? Would you uh, would you vote for him because he'll knock out all your loan debt? Um, I'm, I'm undecided too, as far as Bernie. There's a lot of things. I mean, I love that idea. Yeah. I think it's great. I don't know how realistic that is yeah, as yeah, far yeah. as being able to actually execute that when, yeah. you know, if, if he were to get elected. Um, all but, your debt. I mean, that would be amazing, but I don't really think it would help me very much because mine is uh, not government debt, it's private loan debt. So. Uh -huh. I, there's oh, no yeah. bailout for me. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Lucy. Yay. Yay. Bye, Bye. Um, 
Cam, what you say? Yeah, I'm kind of with Ari on this, and I gotta see the Carfax a little bit. I gotta see, <laughs> yeah. see how it all, yeah. see the structuring of it. I mean, and if it's gonna be like forgiving all the loan debt, but then taxes are gonna go up dramatically, like, I mean, I, I'll be transparent. I have like probably 30K in, in loan debt, but if my taxes are going up 10,000 every year, I don't think it's necessarily like beneficial to me not to be like, so, like selfish about it, but like, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not, I'm, what you say? So exactly, like what's excellence and those of it? Yeah, I kind of yeah, right. have to see how it affects me personally. Just, I mean, I, I tend to vote personal interest. You know, I also, obviously, my community is within my interest as well. So don't get me wrong, but um, it sounds good. Like yeah, that. you're right. That money's good. gotta come from somewhere though. So exactly. until I see like a plan that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean like nowadays, maybe you don't even need to go to college. Cause like, you know, you could be like a rock star coder right software engineer you know all these things you can learn on like youtube mm -hmm. and you could get jobs right google's hiring people um right now that don't have a high school degree but know how to code their ass off mm -hmm. um so i think that's kind of crazy do you think you even need to go to college and even pick up all this debt if it were free i mean maybe you still would but mm. Oh, no. I, I think it depends on your industry or what it is that right. you're trying to do because for some jobs you definitely need a college degree I mean obviously if you're like trying to do anything medical or legal you have to have degrees for that <laughs> for a lot of business jobs you need to have a degree um, so it really just depends like with coding or something that you can teach yourself then maybe not maybe it's not worth it um, but then again who knows if there's things that you might pick up in college that you wouldn't have learned otherwise regardless of how good you are doing stuff you know on your own so it, yeah my answer is it, it really depends for certain things yeah I think we there's more of a need to go to college now than there was before whether that's you know kind of society forcing us yeah. <laughs> to go to college saying you need this uh. degree and it's kind of the racket as far as student loan debt it's a huge it industry yeah um what do you think yeah, uh, again, yeah, it depends on your goal and depends on the career that you're looking to get into. Um, and I think a lot more, you can gain skills from going to college, but there's a lot more that comes with going to college, right? So you're building a whole network that you might not have built otherwise, right? And you're, um, you know, maybe you're good at networking outside of there and making mm -hmm. friendships, um, but college gives you so much more access um, to people from around the world. Yeah. Um, you also are able to travel if you want, you know, you can go study abroad. Um, you know, you join organizations and clubs and things that, um, you know, help you build leadership skills or, you know, all these different things that maybe you might not get just from selecting a trade and then right. just becoming like really good at that one thing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, what else do you have? It's interesting um, what you say about like meeting people from all across the world, because in my life, I definitely think that people who haven't gone to college, haven't met all different types of people. And as such, you know, they can be a little bit um, myopic with their sort of uh, worldview, right? They only really know what's been immediate to them. Um, do you think that, 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 that maybe that's the biggest advantage of going to college is not the technical skills, but the, uh, but the people skills? I think it's one of them, yeah, one yeah. of them. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, when I when I graduated from college, I, I left with a whole network of people that I just, I wouldn't have had if I didn't go to USC. Yeah. Um, and that those people, I mean, you're connected to them for life. So wherever you go, when you meet them, you see them, like you just have this instant bond and, you know, whether it's to get a job or just to have a friend or like, you know, whatever it is, like you're always connected, so. Yeah. I agree, like that's the, <clears throat> that is definitely one of the benefits of college. I think the question is like, what is the, what is the value of that? Like how much is that worth? Right. Like is it worth 60,000 a year? Exactly. Um, <laughs> that's worth 60,000. Hard to put a price scale. point on right, it. Right, right. <laughs> we but pay I for think, friends. I think we'd all agree that that is something that's great to have, like building yeah. uh, relationships and building, yeah. building your network. I personally have had a degree that was in line with my career that I needed to get. But that's not to say that I couldn't have learned those same things in just some other format that was in college. That's just the way the format came in. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have a lot of friends who don't necessarily use their degree or they've done a career pivot and they're doing something completely different. But to your eyes' point, like there's still a lot of experience um, 
I mean, we only live once, not to Drake this, yeah, yeah. but um, we only really live once, so that Stop experience. Stop breaking up the podcast. Uh, that, that experience to some. It's would, a Meek Mill podcast uh, in here, bro. Meek Mill is Philly. Um, some would say that that experience is, is invaluable. So in that case, yeah. 60K is, is worth it. Yeah. Right. I almost feel like today um, you might even need to like get a master's to be successful because you know raising rents and everything. Like, I mean, outside of the people skills, uh, do you feel like like you must get an MBA to get what a bachelor used to get you? Because you used to work in, in admissions. What, I yeah, mean, for grad, you might have a business school, and yeah, I mean, I don't. It depends on your career again. Like, yeah. it really depends on what you want to do. Um, yes, an MBA is great. I mean, you're gonna, but it depends on what you want to do. Uh, I have a master's degree in education counseling, and now I'm doing health and fitness. Now I look back and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not in the same, like you said, a career, I'm not, I did a career pivot, so. But I've used all those skills, those counseling skills to help my clients. So okay. again, it's just how you use it, like where you're working and what you're doing with it. Got it. Do you like be counseling your, your uh, oh gosh, yeah. Uh, and people come through? Mm -hmm. Therapy. Yeah. For sure, yeah, 100%. There you go. <laughs> I hope you upcharge for that. Yeah. Personal training is therapy, it's therapy. It's therapy. That's true. It's 50 minutes of therapy. <laughs> you think you need, a, you need a master's to be successful? Um, again, it's kind of one of those things where it depends on what your career trajectory is. For certain positions, like, that may be required. Um, in my case, like, with my current career, I, I don't necessarily need, need a master's degree. It um, certainly wouldn't hurt, but then yeah. it kind of goes back into the whole, is it worth the amount of debt that I would incur to do that? If I were to have, like, you know, a company that was going to help pay for me to get a degree, then I would for sure be interested. Um, but I don't know that it's absolutely necessary. Okay, just to wrap things up, uh, consensus, uh, 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 would you vote for somebody that would give you free college, free loan forgiveness? Not exactly based off just that, no. Okay. I mean, it sounds great, but no. Fair. That would be, you know, a platform that would interest me, but yeah, like she said, it, it can't be just that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they would definitely get my attention. Okay. If they had a solid plan. Yeah, I, I'll be looking. Cool. Uh, that's it this week, Holiday Roundtable. If you like what you're watching, go ahead and mash that subscribe button and ding the bell too so you don't miss any drops. It's the Holiday Roundtable. See you next week.